compliment of the season from Nebo TV. My name is Agbachi Onome. Welcome to another episode on Nebo TV. I hope we all had a wonderful Christmas celebration and I wish you a happy new year in advance. And today we're going to talk about a former president of Nigeria, the person of Olusegun Obasanjo. We're going to focus on several occasions he has survived assassination, especially the 1976 coup by Bukhar Dinka. There have been numerous known attempts to physically kill Olusegun Obasanjo. Obasanjo escaped the fallout of the January 1966 military coup organized by Chukuma Uziegu and further survived by the Whiskers, the pogrom that broke out in North following the July 1966 counter coup. The story of how Obasanjo escaped death in February 1976 when Bukhadinka and his fellow bandits struck also consolidates the claim of his latch on luck at critical times. According to Olusegun Obasanjo, on Monday 15th of August 2016, he was persuaded to take over the reins of power after the 1976 coup which claimed the life of then head of state Motala Mohammed. Motala was killed on February 13, 1976 in a coup spearheaded by Buka Dimka, a colonel in the Nigerian army. Obasanjo, who was the second in command at the time, escaped being killed by the coup plotters. Obasanjo recollected the event when he hosted the cast and crew of the film released titled 1976 at his presidential library in Abel Kuta. The former president said Nigerians had thought that the coup would bring the country to an end. He said, there were misconceptions about the coup which upturned the political situation as at that time. Obasanjo said the misconceptions stemmed from the fact that most of those involved in the coup were Christians and killing the head of state who was a Muslim was seen as a bad signal for a nation. In a planned broadcast to the nation in 1976, Bukadinka Dinka had cited corruption, indecision, arrest, and detention without trial, weakness on the part of Motala Muhammad and maladministration in general as the reasons for overthrowing the Motala Muhammad government. The coup attempt was crushed several hours later by government troops. After a three-week manhunt, Dinka was arrested near Abakaliki in southeastern Nigeria on 6th March 1976. Following a court martial, Dinka and another six co-conspirators were executed by firing squad on 15th May 1976. Our passenger has always been lucky and God's grace with him 20 years later when General Sani Abacha and his coterie of conspirators whiffed the wider scheme against Obasanjo and his former deputy, Shehu Musa Yaradua. Obasanjo survived Abasha so that when Nigeria came to the crossroads after Abasha, the principalities that roamed Nigeria from their hilltops beckoned on Obasanjo to take over leadership. Returning to power in 1999, Obasanjo became the object of a different kind of assassination. Several attempts were launched by interested political actors against him, with one of the most rehearsed being the famed Mandela Option. That was the plot allegedly schemed by sympathizers of Atiku Abubakar to lure Obasanjo to retire after his first term, just as Nelson Mandela did in South Africa. Fortunately, that plot filled with disastrous consequences for its schemers, including some aides of Atiku who were sent out of the villa, and for some governors who had to go through difficulty before getting the second term ticket of the ruling People's Democratic Party, PDP. 
Olusegun Obasanjo on 27th of December 2020 narrated how retired General Olu Bajowa saved him from being assassinated during the Buka Suka Dinka coup of 1976. Obasan just said if Bajowa had not invited him to his son's naming ceremony, he would have been shot dead by the coup plotters. Obasan John made the disclosure on Sunday, December 27th in Ondo State at an event to mark Bajowa's 80th birthday ceremony. According to Obasan John, Olu Bajowa had a child, a boy, and wanted to name the child after him. Olu Bajowa had to call him early in the morning that Dinka struck. And because Olu said he was coming to his house, he had to wait a little bit. He waited beyond the time he would have gone out, and that made him go late on the route he normally takes to walk. And indirectly, that is how Olu Bajowa saved his life. Well, indeed, one can say Obasanjo has been a lucky man. Despite everything, despite the challenges, he is still standing strong. Could this be mere luck or God's grace? Well, only the grace of God can speak for someone in such situations. And so we're going to wrap up with this on Nebo TV to come back with more interesting episodes. Don't forget, my name remains Apache Onome. Compliment of the season once more and I wish you a happy new year in advance. Stay safe. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.